All right, let's dig into what is included with the Speedline script for After Effects. As you could probably tell by the intro video, this script allows you to attach several strokes to a moving object along its motion path. And we have control over the length of the strokes and the offset from the moving object. So let me show you just how easy it is to use this script. I'm gonna go into a new composition and I'm going to create an object that we can quickly animate. Now it's important to note where the anchor point is located on your object because that is where the strokes are going to be connected to it and that is where the starting point will be based from. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a simple animation path here for this object and I'll skip ahead for your sake. Okay, so now we have a simple motion path that the square is moving along. So now let's go ahead and select the layer and go over to the script UI panel. As you can see, we have control over the number of lines we add the spacing between those lines and the thickness of those lines, even though we'll be able to edit this within the shape layer itself, this just gives you an easy way to start off from a point you're comfortable with. And the offset angle is the angle that the, sh the lines will be distancing from themselves. Um, you can experiment with different things if you're not changing angles too much, but if your layer is doing a lot of turns, uh, we found that 45 is going to look the best. So once you're ready, just go ahead and click Create Speed Lines with your layer selected. And you'll see now we have three lines coming off of the object and it follows it perfectly. Now let's go ahead and add a few more. So we'll just click seven. And with the shape layer selected, we're gonna click Update Speed Lines. And now you'll see we've added in some new strokes, but now that we're filling in space, maybe we want a few more pixels of separation between them. And you can start crafting your own look just like that. Um, and this will still work with the motion path being beziered. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna right click the keyframe, keyframe interpolation. Let's make it continuous bezier. And after doing that, we're gonna also need to click update speed lines so that the paths will now be curved. Now your shape layer path will also have some built-in effect controls, including speed lines length, which lets you animate the length of the speed line or just change it. And you can also offset it from the object in case you want it to be far back or you want it to be in front of the object. Now what's great about having these as shape layers is there is a lot of customization you can do to the look of these lines. If you go into your shape layer, contents, group, in the stroke, you can change the caps to be round, you can adjust the thickness here, and you can also add dashes by clicking this little plus sign next to dash, control the length of those. Just a lot of customization you can do here to create a look that you like. And because these are shape layers, of course you can add in the additional properties such as zigzag, if you adjust that, you'll be able to add some cool randomness to your strokes. And you just have a lot of room for customization. Well guys, thanks for watching. Those are the basics of the Speedline script for After Effects. I hope it saves you tons of time in your next project, and I hope to see you again next time.